So you are the CEO of a big footwear company listed on Nasdaq and one fine day when you wake up you realize that your company's share prices are up in flames dwindling every second of a minute and you as the CEO have nowhere to hide especially when all the shareholders are up in arms to get you what will you do hi we present to you awesome marketing stories and this is how crocs was saved Crocs was founded by Lyndon Hanson, Scott Siemens, and George Burdecker Jr. to produce and distribute a foam clog, whose design they acquired from Foam Creations Inc., a company based out in Quebec City, Canada. The shoe was originally developed as a boating shoe. The first model produced by the Crocs, named the Beach, was unveiled in 2001 at Fort Lauderdale Boat Show in Florida, and the 200 pairs that they produced were all sold in that event itself. Crocs completed the initial public offering of its common stock in February 2006. It began trading on Nasdaq stock market under the symbol of CROX. Crocs shares rose 48% above their $21 per share initial public offering price following the stock's Nasdaq debut. It looked like Crocs is here to stay for a long time. It was the year 2007 and with it came the age of the internet and social media. Soon people started talking about how ugly and classless these Crocs looked and suddenly anyone sporting Crocs was seen with a sense of admonishment and was ignored by the larger public. This resulted in the closing of a lot of stores that sold Crocs. Suddenly Crocs were not just a shoe but a butt of jokes among people and was put in the list of Times 50 worst inventions of all times. Soon the discussions began if Crocs were a trend or just another fad. Crocs were not all evil. In fact, a lot of people liked them as they were extra comfortable and Crocs knew that they can leverage this trait and with some brand polishing maybe they can make Crocs a cool footwear again. Crocs first of all had to cut down its expenses and had to shut stores in order to cut down on excess inventory and then they came up with a very traditional and boring marketing strategy that is celebrity marketing under the leadership of its then new CEO Andrew Rees and it worked wonders for them. They first partnered with Justin Bieber and then subsequently with Balenciaga and then they also partnered with Chinatown. Soon the result was out in the open and for everyone to see Crocs were cool again especially among youth and videos of Crocs on TikTok they garnered millions of views and gave rise to Crocs collection spree among youth who decorated even their walls with Crocs. In the year 2020, Crocs had its best year as the COVID pandemic was raging on and people wanted a bit of extra comfort. Crocs as a result earned 2.3 billion in revenue, growing 67% in just one single year. So guys, this is the story of Crocs and how it was rescued from the clutches of bankruptcy and we hope you liked it. And if you did, click on the subscribe button down below and that is all for today guys and thanks for watching. See you next.